today is such a fun day because we're actually gonna get to do the water part of our underwater self-portrait. Now, you know, so far we drew ourselves underwater and we colored it with crayon. You wanna make sure that everything is completely covered with the crayon. Now, the next step is you're gonna take a white crayon and you're gonna create the reflection in the water. And what I mean by that is, now you might notice it's very hard to see white crayon on white paper, but you'll be able to see it. And you are going to do lines that are kind of wiggly all around your paper because these are the reflection of the sunlight in the water. And I will show you in class a better example, one that you can actually see, of what your uh, reflection lines should look like. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing these reflection lines. When you're doing the reflection lines, you wanna make sure to push down hard with your crayon. If you don't push down hard with a crayon, it's not going to work. What's going to happen is when I use the water color, because that's what we're going to use to do the water, that crayon will do something called resist. It will resist the water color, and I can't wait for you to see what that looks like. So I've just finished doing the water reflections in my water with a white crayon. Then I'm going to use water colors to paint the water and I'm going to use the color blue. For water color, you might know this brush is our teenager brush. The teenager brush is a water color brush, so that's the one we will be using. You want to make sure you get water, fill it up to that black line. And you wanna dip your paintbrush in the water and get water on your paintbrush as much as you can and then rub it lightly in the watercolor. That is creating the paint. If you don't add water and rub lightly, you will not have any paint. Now, you might be noticing right away as I'm painting over those crayon lines, it's resisting. And what that means is the paint won't go on the crayon lines. And so my white crayon lines are showing up. This is called resist. And I think it's so cool. It's just like magic. Notice I get more water. I rub that paintbrush lightly in the blue. And then I'm gonna keep painting. And I will paint all of the water around me and I'll be painting I paint right over those white lines that's no problem because they will resist that blue paint isn't that cool also I'm gonna be careful not to get too much paint on my body I want to leave that just colored with the crayon now if I would go over my body it would resist it because we remember we use crayons to paint our bodies so I am going to continue to paint the water around myself and I will fill in every white piece of paper showing remember you are never finished with an art project until there's no white paper showing so I will keep painting. I know you are going to love doing the water reflection with the white crayon and then painting your water in today. Have a great time and I can't wait to see your underwater self-portraits.